ahead of you, huh? Crazy to see your name now, right? Cool necklace. Thank you. What a wonderful performance. Oh my God. I Thank mean, you. you went through so much. I mean, eating a fish, eating liver, sleeping in a horse. I mean, which one was the hardest one for you to do, which will stick with you for the rest of your life? I'm sure they were all really hard, but which one was extremely hard for you? Um, look, we, I think we all knew what we were signing up for for this movie. When you do a film truly in the elements, and we shot at high altitudes in the middle of Canada and, and, and the southern tip of Argentina, we wanted to capture nature in, a, in its truest form. You know that you're going to be dealing with very rough circumstances, just logistically getting to these locations, but then having to do some of the sequences that we did in this movie. I mean, this Hugh Glass's story is all about survival. And so a lot of this stuff was um, rehearsed for weeks beforehand, discussed at great length. So ironically, some of the things that seem incredibly difficult, like the bear attack or the sleeping in the animal carcass, all these things, you know, we had great discussions and rehearsals beforehand, but, you know, there were so many sequences that were surprisingly more difficult than I ever thought they would be. And the, the main thing we had to battle every single day was the, was the elements in the cold. I mean, just not to get hypothermia, not to freeze to death out there was the biggest challenge for the entire cast and crew, and that was, that was the biggest hurdle every single day. If you take one moment away from that whole shooting, what will it be which you'll remember for the rest of your life? Oh my God, it's, to tell again, it's so hard to just pick one. There were, I mean, there were moments probably, you know, even on the last day of shooting, we're up at a high altitude and being immersed in nature like that, you, everything's so unpredictable. All of a sudden, my last day and there's a giant green aurora borealis covering the entire sky and we just turned the camera around and, and filmed it. That was what was, so fun, I think, about making a movie that was very meticulously planned out, but nature gave us all these great little cinematic gifts, and then we'd become independent filmmakers racing to different locations trying to capture tiny little moments, or, you know, like independent filmmakers, so it was fantastic. Do you stay in character the whole time? For the, in my own way, you know, I think I do. I, I, it's kind of hard not to when you're on location for nine months. Mm -hmm. I certainly wanted to be an isolationist during this movie and mm. you know my character is within and without he's a part of this unit but he knows he, in order to survive he needs to disappear he has a native american son he's an outcast so you know i wasn't really a part of the fur trapping unit i was i was a mm. singular man out there on a, on a quest of my own what was the first thing you did in the evening when you're done shooting go home and take a bath and get warm that's it mm. <laughs> It comes very, when you're out there for that long of a period of time, it really becomes about the basics. It becomes about staying warm and being properly fed and getting enough sleep. That's all you do. Now, you don't have a son yet, um, but I mean, do you think love to a child or to a woman can make you do that, like conquer everything, go 200 miles to get revenge? Well, that's the kind of the the whole theme of The Revenant, and here's a man that has absolutely lost everything that he's cared about in his life. And it's literally the, these ghosts of the love that he had for his child and his, and, his, and his wife that keep pushing him to persevere amongst, against all the odds. You know, lo it is a love story in a lot of ways. This movie is a very powerful love story in my opinion, but the people just aren't necessarily there in the material world. And I think the theme of Revenge certainly takes on a completely new meaning for him once he's almost, you know, died multiple times. When he's finally faced with the ability to reap that revenge, it becomes something completely different for him.